expected in the beginning for it to be hard. Um, the frustration was really probably the market that I jumped into. Uh, although it was great, I didn't expect to jump into a market that was as hard as it was for buyers. Although I'm very grateful for it now because I learned more in the past year than I probably would have been five years if it was a normal market. <laughs> I would say once it really started to go, to go for me, because in the beginning there was a lot of doubt and a lot of, you know, fear that I overthought a lot of situations. And once I found the team that I'm on, you know, Chad and Sandy Real Estate Group, and I had that mentorship, um, it really started to become believable that I could actually be successful in this career. And what were your first thoughts when you found this solution? So when I first met Sandy and, and met the team, um, before that, I was in kind of like a fishbowl brokerage. So I was lost. Mm -hmm. and I wanted to be successful. It's just like I didn't have the ingredients on how to be. It was always do this online class and, and do that one. Um, but there was no, you know, I needed to someone to hold my hand and help me up the ladder. And when I met Sandy and I met the team, um, it felt right. And I'm a huge overthinker. So <laughs> a lot of stuff doesn't feel right all the time because I overthink it. But with that, and when I saw true mentorship, um, I knew that was the team for me. Um, so I did a lot of homework and research on Chad and Sandy Real Estate Group. Um, I had already looked at them online, kind of their database, what, what it looks like to a consumer online. And I really liked the layout. So that was very intriguing for me. Um, and then when I met Sandy and the team in person and the vibe that I got, uh, it really just sealed the deal for me. Yeah, it was scary. Um, in the beginning, it was scary for me, but um, like I said, I'm an overthinker. So I just trusted the process that they put in front of me and really trusted those numbers of how many people I need to talk to a week or what do I need to do? How do I need to climb up this ladder? And I stopped second guessing myself and listening to the fear and just really implemented those numbers and that process. And I really started to see a great result from that. So when I finally got, uh, which it didn't take long to get a contract, I got two very close together. And that was a major high on the roller coaster. And it really gave me some encouragement that, hey, you know, this is actually possible. And all of the work that I put in is coming to fruition, you know, and, um, and a lot of fear left then. Yes, yeah, so I really jumped in with both feet you know i didn't have a backup plan i knew that i had to make this work and once i found the team that i really wanted to make it work with um i listened to them and i listened to the numbers that they you know the calls that they told me to make and they do this and and you'll succeed and i really implemented that and um once i let go of the fear in the beginning of all of the overthinking that i did and in all of the possibilities, how it could go wrong. And I really just put that to the side and listened to my coach and my team. It's very life changing. You know, when I joined this team, um, I had been licensed in real estate for, you know, a year. I wasn't full time, but I had zero sales. So when I joined this team and went from my first closing to now, you know, the salary of of over 100k is sometimes it's still unbelievable <laughs> you know a lot of doors have started to open for me that i knew could eventually open but i didn't know how to open them i would probably still be lost in a fishbowl brokerage you know wishing and thinking of how do i how am i going to be successful in real estate and um, i probably would have let the fear win and i probably wouldn't have jumped in with both feet Stop overthinking everything, uh, talk to Sandy and trust the process.